is up till 1.30. Working on wedding stuff. Now I woke up taking off my makeup from last night. Putting on new makeup so that I can go to the White House for the Christmas tree lighting ceremony. So it's a big day. I thought of this company 15 years ago. It was just a thought in my head. Wouldn't it be a good idea if... And here we are. We're going to the White House. I was on my own fully and completely when I was 18 years old. And I decided then that I needed to determine my own value. I gotta go and connect with the Neo people, connect with the Five Harmony people, connect with the Google people, and connect with the White House people. It's a regular day in the life. Thank you. Hello, sir. Do you know where we're going? We're going to the White House. We're going to the White House. Amos Levine. I'm with Neo, and we're here for the Christmas tree lighting rehearsal. Okay. Thank you. Oh, look, there's Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. So you'll drop me, and then you'll wait, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. fantastic. Good evening, and welcome to the President's Park. Now, as you can see, we are just across from the White House. Today went so well, it like couldn't have gone better. Neo came in like five minutes after me. I went to shake his hand, he's like, I don't shake hands. Hug. Personal DC, back to New York, and back to DC. This is the US government, they're not throwing Air Force One at us. Air Force One's a private jet, baby. Yeah, well it's a private jet for POTUS, it's not a private jet for Lori. President of the United States is POTUS. And FLOTUS, FLOTUS is the first lady of the United States. And Scrotus would be right here in my balls. That's right. Scrotus would be your balls. I, I love you. Are you leaving me now? You're leaving me with Scrotus? Picking up Josh from work. And then we're headed to San Diego. He will be a changed man tomorrow. Oh, baby. I'm also getting nervous for my surgery. Really? Because it's real now. How hungry are you? You're really hungry. Like starving. All right, so. Siri, give me the best Mexican restaurant around here. Why do you talk to it like that? Why? Siri. Checking. I want seafood. Yeah, but then I, I want Spanish thinking. tapas. <laughs> I want Mexican. You know, you're really easy. <gasps> Any last words for your skull? It's now starting to hit me that <laughs> I'm about to have my fucking skull cut open. Actually, I saw a bunch of surgeries on that show on E where this guy came and he just had the biggest scar behind his head. I'm actually a little nervous though. I know. Actually, I'm more than a little nervous. I know. My baby's getting hair. It's kind of like starting to sink in that like this is happening tomorrow. You're so handsome, babe. Thank you. Christmas is next week and people are just... Hey, look, there's one decorated house in the living room. I know, this will not happen no, on the East Coast. I, I'm talking about not I love even... how you talk to people and they're like, what do you mean, all these houses are decorated. Really? Where? Nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing. Oh, look, I found one, I found one. One bullshit house. <laughs> about them like staking into my head. Like how do they do it? Do they just like plop, pull, plop, pull, and then put the thing in it? Or do they, they plop the hole with the actual hair implantation already in the whatever they use? Yeah, I have to be honest, I have no idea. Okay. Hair forever transplant. Oh my God, no, 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 you can't see this. Come on, go back, I need to see this. Baby, you can't see this. this is Oh! Yo, now I'm fucking freaking out. No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. It's stupid. What am I doing? Taking life by the balls. Cook me up a little meal. It's called salty pasta, basically. It's chunks of tuna steak, thick cut bacon. And vodka sauce over pasta. Mom's taught me how to cook a long time ago. I like cooking. It's not news for me or somebody I care about. It's 
therapeutic, it's nice and fun. Seasoning my, my cut up tunas. Split them up a little. Woo! My dad can cook. Dad used to make me uh, fried apples and eggs in the morning. Hey, mom and pop, they got divorced when I was a kid. But, uh, he, he, he stayed there as much as he could because he had a really good job. And my dad was the flight engineer of the Air Force One president's plane, and that's real right now. So he was busy. I thought he was an asshole for a long time, but he's not. He just had to wait. Like, when I started comedy, he didn't believe in it. But I love my dad. You give him a call. All right. I present to you Stormy Pasta. I'm so surprised I ain't come out gay. A lot of male figures in my life to catch. Gay, straight. right? Because I was raised by three, three chicks. Remember? Do I remember? So the one father figure in my life was Bishop Evans from my church. That's the dude. Bishop know how to talk. He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> he really knows how to talk to you. I don't think you'd be the man you are today without it, those talking, talking twos. Yeah. That's one I think to this day I laugh at it now. I, I was traumatized back then. When you caught me watching porn and then uh, he, you sent me just into his office. Oh, that's what. That's the only time he yelled at me. He yelled? Oh, get your hand off your dick. <laughs> Stupid looking at that stuff. You're grounded. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> when did you watch it? I went to dad's house when I was 15. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a bad one. And I, yeah. and I was like, all right, never do that again. That Christmas, and then those three months when he was a little baby, when he went to stay with him for the summer. Oh my gosh, they, that was the worst summer. My life felt incomplete that summer. Well, talking, I came back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you came back. We spent 60 bucks and got the biggest Christmas tree ever. Oh my God. How heavy is that tree? Oh wow, you just missed hitting the car. This is one big oh. tree. Oh! <laughs> okay, I hope you bring this family lots and lots of happiness. Today is the official last day of the year for Flying Television. We are closing up shop after today. Okay, so how close are we to completion, do you think? I'm just putting the eyes on, that's really it. Okay, February 4th, we have the Mad Over You event, which is that slam poetry event. Okay. Like, anybody else, anything? What are you, No. Oh, you okay. got a package from someone named Sonny. All of a sudden, my assistant said, a box just arrived from my older sister, Sunny. Sunny and I haven't seen or spoken to each other in 10 years since Helene passed away. Anyway, I wanted to wait to open it in front of you, so. Dear Lori, as the end of the year is approaching and I know that you're getting married on New Year's Day, I've been thinking of something special to give you. I received a call recently from cousin Vicky that she was in possession of Helene's wedding dress. I know that if our sister were still alive, she would be as thrilled for you as I am for finding the man of your dreams. But since that is not possible, I took... Well, I took some lace from her dress and I thought you might want to incorporate it in some small way at your wedding so that you can feel her presence and love with you. I wish you love and happiness. You very much deserve it. Love, Sunny. She cut off the bottom of her dress. Honey, that is just so incredible. This is a big deal. This is a really big deal. You deserve to have someone in your family tell you how special you are.
Rosie's in the bathroom. I'm about to go in and have my hair done. And I know it probably sounds corny because it's a pretty minor surgery. I'm a little freaked out. Um, before I got in, I wanted to give her an early Christmas present. And just let her know what she means to me and that I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with her. So. Hey, baby. Mm. I love you. I love you. So I'm scared about my surgery. I know, man. But I wanted to tell you before I go in how much you mean to me. I love you. And that for 34 years of my life. Okay. I don't know, just, just hear me out. For 34 years of my life, I've spent more time without you than with you, and yet I could never imagine a day without you. I love you more than anything on this planet, and to be with you is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I, I adore you, and I, I know without a doubt in my head that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. No, me too. Um, I know you've been through a lot, and marriage scares the shit out of you, and I don't ever want to freak you out at all, but I do want you to know that I'm committed and I love you with all my heart. Okay, baby, so with that said, oh, hell no. <laughs> it is not an engagement ring. It is it's not a, an engagement ring. But it's a promise ring saying that I am committed and I'm all yours and I love you if you'll have me. So pretty. But it is not an engagement ring. Not an engagement ring. ring. Okay. It's so pretty. Will you be my boyfriend forever? Yes! I'll be your boyfriend. <laughs> No, I mean, will you be my girlfriend? Oh, shit. Will you be my girlfriend forever? It's so pretty. This is not an engagement ring, right? But I will definitely I mean, okay. be your girlfriend. In my head, it's an engagement ring. In your head, it's a promise ring. Wait, what? Nothing. Do you know my ring says? Called your ex-husband. <laughs> Sorry, just joking. So you be my girlfriend forever? Yes. I'm gonna be like 90 years old with a boyfriend. I love you. I love you. Mom, mm -hmm. I told you he's like the new Steven Seagal. Yeah. What's his name again? Jason Statham. Statham. Yeah. About to call my dad up. That's my papa. He gasses planes in the air. That's my dude. Hey, boy. Merry Christmas. You sound good. Love you, man. Merry Christmas. Yeah. What you doing? I'm at home with Nana now, Mom. We, you know, we oh. just watched some Jason Statham flick. We just had breakfast. You know, just, just chilling. Hey. Jason Statham, yeah. Nana and Nell got a thing for white guys that could fight. You seen him in that movie uh, where he's a bank robber? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. Okay. Yeah, but uh, how you feeling? How you going? You good? I've got um, a big deal coming up in February. Okay. Um, it is a, uh, a Navy flight test base. All right. And they got an unmanned bomber. Ooh. That they want to air refuel. Okay. And and that's never been done. So, wow. Um, now, what were you talking about? You doing do you doing what now? My stand up is getting nice. You'll like it. I think you'll like okay. it now. Well, you know, you just keep me posted, man. Yeah. You know, I've been telling folks about you. You know, when I, you know, when I'm on the airplane a lot. You know, and they said, "What's his name?" Man? Well, it's about to happen. Check him out. I'm gonna keep working to where they be like, "What's his name?" Derek Gaines. They be like, "Oh." Your son is there again. Like, it, I'm going to make it that. Yeah. Yeah, man. It was good to hear from you. Uh... Yeah. Well, just keep watching. I'm going to keep it interesting, Pop. Okay. All right. Love you, man. Bye. My parents split when I was young. I don't know what long-lasting love is. Nana. 
hated my grandpa Bones, who's dead now. Nell ain't been never been in a relationship. She been living with Nate her whole life. Nobody goes out and loves, man. My mom dated, because my mom's beautiful. She tried to date these goofballs, but she loved me more than them. I know about divorce, man. I've seen more divorce than I've seen marriage in my life. I've seen more people split up, break up, than people be happy. We have arrived. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. I'm Deanna. Are you going to cut me up? No, I'm not going to cut you up. Doctor's going to do that. I'm nervous Great. as shit, Doc. Really? So am I. <laughs> Don't be nervous. It's all good. We've actually done this a few times before. <laughs> I'm going to be giving you medications to you know, help calm me down, take away some of that anxiety that you have, which is normal. I'm scared as shit. <laughs> a year from now, when all this grows in, all of them grow like that. Bye, baby. Right. Wait, that's it? Just right. <laughs> bye. Right. I love you. What do you need me to do now, Doc? The last um, moment. Come on back. We'll, we'll, we'll get a gown on you and we'll, uh, we'll get started. <gasps> and turn it off. Oh my god. Dum, 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 dum. Uh -huh. You can't ask me for one favor, Virginia. like this is the first one you've asked me for today. You can have two. You've been asking me favors all day. Oh. Yeah. Everything's favors. going great. You did really good. Thanks for taking care of me. She's the best thing that's ever happened. And she's got goodies for you. I do. Come on. What kind of goodies? Babe, you can't have those goodies tonight. <laughs> I gotta wait a month in the second. Are you choking? Nope. Dude, I'm so drugged up on pain. You don't understand. Yeah, but you're like relaxed. I had to keep telling him. I'm like, dude, I'm in pain. Like, he had to keep shooting me up, shooting me up. Wow. He's like, you have a really fast metabolism. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute. You're like a stoned college student right now. You are the man of my dreams. You don't have to wait a month to fuck this man. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. I think I need more medicine, honestly. All right, okay, let's get you more. Should I take the mic in? Wait. All right, I'll take those off. Come on. I love you. I love you. You're like turning motherly and I like it. I am. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're high and I love it. It's Lori. I'm It's beautiful what you're doing, Sonny. It's just lovely. I mean, we haven't spoken in a long, long time, and to get such a I know we have. It's a deep, it's a deep, you, deep gift. You should know that no matter what has gone on, I know you're my sister, and I love you, and I want you to have the most wonderful day. And I, I couldn't be more proud of you. Sonny, thank you. I, I didn't know that. I, I could never know that. Thank you. It's Helene, and she, she just did her magic yet again. I know. Yeah, she's, she's looking out for us. I know. Once we're back together again, and we will be. Okay. Bye. Bye. My sister got really sick in December, 11 years ago. By the end of uh, January, it was clear that she was terminal. We had to put her into a medically induced coma. So I gave her the journal and a pen, and she started to write goodbye letters to everyone. And the one she wrote to me said, family, is who you make it. Hi. Merry Christmas. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Boy. Whether that be friends or husbands and their children. <laughs>
just got home. Not only that, look, our Christmas stuff is up. Babe, let me see your head. Holy shit. It's bleeding a lot. I know. Wow, look at this. My Frankenstein. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and you're a pig. I love you. You can't no. touch his head. Don't touch head. it. He's dead. Let me see. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 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 How are you driving the car? It won't be long for you had this. <laughs> Just please get home. Just get home. Okay. All right. All right, Dan, please get home. Oh, she's K turning. My grandma's a fucking G. One eye. Be safe, please. Please get home safe. <laughs> These are your gifts. Merry Christmas. I got gifts. You say Laurent. Exactly what you asked it for. Man stuff. And I'm finally back in the game. Nothing like a good smelling man. But I'm about to be the good smelling man, so I'll go out there. You don't count. No, not to you, mom. I'm going to just go out there with knowing that you said that. Go pick me up some broads. You get nuzzled right up here in that <laughs> neck area. And just Mom, that's enough. All right, that's enough of that. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, mom. Thanks for watching Connected. Make sure you're subscribed to AOL Originals for all new episodes and exclusive behind-the-scenes footage.